What's going on, y'all? So this is uh my other my other land. Oh, check this out. Look at it. Look at that. Get a close up of that. That prairie mantis. Isn't that cool? Whoops! Okay. All right, so clearly I need to cut my grass, right? Mm. Yeah. Yes, we gotta get some, throw some goats up in here. Don't y'all think we should throw some goats and just let them eat? Anyway, I'm thinking about. At first, I was gonna put some, make this a pig farm, but I was thinking about water and how to how I was gonna bring enough water in here to do all that. I think I'm changing my mind. I think a good opportunity be opportunity would be to make subcontained subcontaneous units for students who wants to go to school they want to rent a little spot so i'm thinking i mean uh, you can see i got the walls i already got the walls already up and if i just put little small little basically little apartments from here all the way down just kind of like wrapping around making a small little commute for like teenage, you know college students because we have a lot of colleges around here where uh you know kids go to college and they need a place to stay and I can provide that. I already have the, the wall. I could probably make the wall a little taller or something. Well, obviously, this won't be here. But, you know, I think that's a good business opportunity. You know, provide living space. I'm still going to build a well around here somewhere so where I can provide water here and get us. I want to get a unit and I want to put it out there so that some people can actually, they can actually get water. You know, some of the kids can actually utilize my well to get free, to get free water that they want to, you know, wash clothes, drink or whatnot. And I just want to show you that real quick. And come over here. And this area out here, this area, the grass is really tall. You can check, you can see, this is pretty much all open. It's all open land that's available. This is like, and I can, I might purchase this area out here. It is for sale. So I'm thinking about it, you know, nobody's has come along, but I, I have been offered to, to buy the land. I'm not sure what I would do with it, but you know, I might, I might buy it. You know, I could do something with it. Would not put something here, build something here, or just have it. You know, once you buy land, you know, you can't, you know, buying land's always good. You know, even if you sit on it, buying land is, is always good. Right now, obviously I'm just chilling. But I just wanted to show you guys this is my second, this is my, this is one of my second plots of land that I purchased. You probably will, I, if this land right here that I purchased, that I purchased calls me about, um, how much is it? Oh, uh, I, I purchased this, this land for $950. I built this wall, this, 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 this concrete wall, show them all the concrete wall. I built the concrete wall that cost about, um, about 2000 about $3,000. So all in all, about four thousand dollar investment. I have. This is a. This would be considered a plot. This is actually a plot and a half. It's a plot and a half of land, and the walls are. Let me see. I'm I'm five eleven and a half. I'm five eleven and a half. You see, you know, it's pretty tall. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. You know, I mean, you try to get in the wall like this in America. You know how much that costs. Even if you try to do it yourself, it'd be pretty expensive. So I just wanted to show y'all that this grass really needs to be cut. Wow. But yeah, I'm not going to do it. So that's, that's how that is. I might met the guy. He's the one that's holding the camera. He'll probably cut it with a machete. Just right. Huh? You going to cut it with a machete? <laughs> all right. That's all I got, y'all.